It's Tuesday, July 12th, reading from the prophet Isaiah. In the days of Ahaz, king of Judah, son of Jotham, son of Uzziah, Rezan, the king of Aram, Pekah, the king of Israel, son of Remaliah, went up to attack Jerusalem, but they were not able to conquer it. When word came to the house of David that Aram was encamped in Ephraim, the heart of the king and heart of the people trembled, as the trees of the forest tremble of the wind. Then the Lord said to Isaiah, Go out to meet Ahaz, you and your son Shir Jehob, at the end of the conduit of the upper pool and the highway of the fullest field, and say to him, Take care, remain tranquil, do not fear, let not your courage fail. Before these two stumps of smoldering brands, the blazing anger resin and the Arameans and the son of Remalia, because of the mischief that Aram, Ephraim, the, the son of Remalia, plot against you, saying, Let us go and tear Judah's son to make it our own, and point the son of Tabeel king there. And thus says the Lord, Thou shalt not, this shall not stand, it shall not be. Damascus is the capital of Aram, and Rezim is the head of Damascus. Samaria is the capital of Ephraim. But within sixty years and five, Ephraim shall be crushed. So no longer nation, unless your faith is firm, you shall not, you shall not be firm. Yeah, I'm not a, admittedly not a scripture scholar, especially when it comes to the Old Testament. I struggle with it. You studied back in seminary, and that's many, many years ago now. And, and most of us, when we read biblical commentaries, if we're honest, we favor, most of us, high percentage, the New Testament, the Gospels, you know, that we can read and understand. But it gets a little, a little difficult when we come to the Old Testament, all the his, history to it, names, and it gets a little bit overwhelming. And so what happened here in the prophet's eyes, I... Isaiah, it was the two powers that Ahaz feared. Hmm? And he called them as stumps. Don't worry about those two powers. What was happening? They were depending hmm? on these mm -hmm. on these others, who, as Uzziah and Menahem did. The two powers, rather than depending on God. That's the symbol. They'd be saved by these worldly powers. And God said, don't you depend on them. They're nothing. They'd be small and they'd be put aside. And so uh, as weakly as, perhaps weakly as I may have de defined this, but I can apply it to my life and maybe to you as well. There's no political party that's going to save us, no matter what side you're on. There's no individual. In the long run, it's only by God's grace and God's will. And so we get in trouble when we put our trust and hope in, in, in a person, for they will disappoint, for they are human, they are weak. So where do we put your faith in, your hope in? In a political party, an individual, or is in God? God bless you.